Hey, it's 10 a.m. on October 23rd, and it's time to uh, get this BTS vlog started. There you go. <laughs> got the timer started. Um, yeah, uh, it's been about two hours since I, uh, or more, two or three hours since I talked to you last and into the segment, the, uh, the last segment for um, yesterday's vlog. So now we're starting the uh, new vlog. Uh, for some reason, well, not really some reason, whenever the temperature dips for me, and the temperature has dipped uh, here significantly, it's about 60 degrees in here, you know, that's where I like it, it uh, makes me uh, sleepy. And so when your body's tired and you want to get to sleep, and you want to sort of catch up on your rest, the best thing to do is sort of have the temperature dip. <laughs> so that's where where things are heading now. The temperature's down good enough, and so I'm nice and sleepy. Uh, beyond that, uh, we're talking about the uh, pieces of the puzzle, uh, the research puzzle of being a uh, infinite student and looking literally all over the world uh, from your research desk uh, for various different pieces to uh, the work that you're doing. In, in other words, if you got a, the, if you're exploring the universe and you're viewing the universe as this uh, rather large puzzle, with and as I said, normally when you're doing a puzzle, you're looking for the edge pieces, but there is no edge to the pieces here, and so you find a bunch of pieces all over the place. Every time you go out and look for pieces, you go out and find pieces, and these are more or less a random pickup. There's no particular rhyme or reason to it. You just go out, you pick up some stuff, and you bring it back in, sort and organize it, go back out, bring some more stuff in, sort and organize it, and if you start to notice any similarities, you start trying to piece things together to see how they fit, and if they fit, because sometimes they do fit together, and sometimes uh, they don't fit together, even though they may look like they fit together. And so this is sort of what drives you forward. But the puzzle analogy actually goes further than that and allows you to start, um, if you don't have the entire piece of a hidden library, let's say you, you find out there are hidden libraries, there's hidden information, and you want to understand better about that hidden library, you don't need the entire library uh, verbatim in front of you. You can begin to piece it together by looking for other pieces that are connected to it. And then as you understand the connections between these pieces, then you can start understanding the contents of that particular library. Now, bear in mind, your knowledge isn't absolute. It's, an always, it's always an approximate. You, you can never know anything absolutely anyways. It's always an approximate. And as long as you have a, a, you know, keep yourself reasonably grounded in terms of your, your ego, uh, you can push your understanding of that particular hidden library uh, to a significant degree so that you can say okay yeah this person was looking in the right direction was looking in the right direction has something here or you can say well this person may have something may, there may be certain valid points but was, was actually looking in the wrong direction in other words even if the, if the person's overall direction ended up being wrong that doesn't necessarily mean or invalidate any of the pieces that are part of his puzzle or part of that hidden library. It just means that he may have interpreted them wrong, he may have perceived them wrong. Uh, in other words, there are other options uh, in terms of looking in the perspective of what you're looking at that can change whether uh, information that comes in is either useful or not useful. And even if information comes in that, that you collect on, on, when you're out doing your uh, research, you're out doing your uh, sort of searching for those pieces. And I'll just, going out doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave the place physically. Uh, with the internet, you can do that uh, virtually and go out and have a virtual presence and go out and collect information virtually. And that's what I do here at the research desk. Uh, you can come to some understanding of pieces that you collect, uh, even though that you may not necessarily understand their initial connection right away, you may end up realizing that the, their connection uh, months and even years down the road. So uh, a collection is not necessarily useless or, or, or junk simply because you don't understand it. It just simply means that you just don't, at the time, you don't understand how the information uh, connects. And so you just put it on your shelf and you put it in your archives and <laughs> in some ways you just kind of keep a note on it. 
you know, even though the note might slip to the back of your mind, to keep a note on it nonetheless. Uh, and, and at some point in time, if the information is important, uh, you, when you're looking at something else that, that does connect to it, go, oh, I remember this. And you go back to your archive and see if the, th the piece that you found now and the piece that you had found way back when uh, actually connect and fit. And if they do, great. If they don't, you know, then you start, you, you, you continue on. You continue on with, with, with the progress of, of going up, searching, sorting, and archiving. So, anyways, uh, that's what I'm about to doing today. I'm, uh, uh, right now, it's more of a certain sort and organized type of thing. Because uh, um, I'm waiting for some new equipment that came in on Friday. Uh, and I'm uh, still more or less in recovery mode. I'm waiting to go out in about... Uh, an hour and a half, I have to go out and do some work uh, uh, and return some equipment that doesn't work so well. So I'm going to return it, get my money back, and put it towards uh, new equipment that's going to replace it that should work better. Uh, anyways, I will talk to you in a couple hours uh, and let you know what's happening. Alrighty. It is just about 2 o'clock in the morning. It's time to get our last segment of the day done. That's right, because in a few hours we'll be getting our day again. <laughs> and the thing is, is that while there is some lag, uh, we're we're experiencing some degree of lag time. Uh, and then I'll explain this a little bit better. Uh, let me collect my thoughts and explain this. What happens is that between projects, uh, at, and not only between projects, as you're shifting gears, like one segment of the project finished, like we just finished the configuration of the IPTV, uh, uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu is more or less uh, done and ready to operate. Same thing with the research desk. Uh, so those projects have sort of finished, and now we're waiting for the new projects to start up again and and in that period between when they're finishing and starting up uh, particularly when you're waiting for equipment and some more equipment coming in on on on, uh, on Friday uh, that's tomorrow there is always some lag time there's some time in between where there isn't really much to do so uh, I decided to use that lag time to uh, catch up on my sleep to uh, sort of uh, get a little extra crash time in so that's what's been happening is, is I've been more or less catching up on my sleep uh, but we're back at the research desk again uh, something popped up the network uh, my alarm went off for the network uh, got up repaired it and so now I'm going to continue on with the rest of the day so this is going to be the last segment for the uh, this the BTS vlog and in a couple hours, I'm going to begin uh, work on, um, uh, I'll come back and do the next segment, which will be the beginning of the next BTS vlog. So this is, this is, this is where, where <laughs> I make mistakes sometimes. Uh, I get distracted, particularly when I'm tired, and I also lose my train of thought, and I have to really sort of struggle to, to remember what I had said even two minutes ago. Uh, this is sort of it is a sign of sleep depri deprivation. Uh, I do have that on a severe level. Uh, and I'm trying to repair it, but uh, sometimes things are out of your control and you do what you can. But if you can catch it and sort of work your way around it, then uh, you can sort of deal with it in a lot better fashion than you would if you don't catch it, so just let it go. Oh well, that's that's what that is, and uh, don't bother paying attention to it. <laughs> if you pay attention to it and try to deal with it, then uh, it can be dealt with. Uh, but that being said, um, today or what's on the schedule for today is uh, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. There's a lot of cleaning work that has to be done. Then there's some a lot of organizing work that has to be done so that the new equipment comes in. Until the new equipment comes in, so I'm taking that time to do that. Uh, I've also got to take a serious look at my uh, filming schedule to see how. I, but what happens is I keep saying, "Oh, I'm going to be filming this. I'm going to be filming that," and then uh, something pops up during the day when I don't end up filming it, and that's got to stop. So uh, 
I'm going to be working on the filming schedule today to sort of really uh, get the uh, film studios fi film studios in a condition where uh, they're more or less ready to go. So as soon as I pop in there, everything is done and we can just go right to the film shoot. Uh, but that sort of remains to be seen. That that's the goal for today. But uh, I don't know whether or not that's going to be the case or not. Uh, also, you'll be seeing in the next BTS vlog, which will start in a, um, in basically about two hours. The next BTS vlog will start at 2 o'clock now. The next two, BTS vlog will start probably around 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the next BTS vlog, what you will see is there gonna be, there's going to be a name change. Because not... Um, how do I say this? Um, products don't necessarily last forever. And there's also more than one project going on here at the same time. What I've done is I've broken up the larger projects into smaller projects. And even some of these small projects up into segments. So in other words, uh, we were up, uh, we were moving to uh, doing work on IPTV and um, Cyborg Alpha. Cyborg Alpha Mule, the project was broken up into conf initial configuration. Getting all the devices working together so they can go out together. That was done. That was one project. Now another project is to start really expanding the capacity. So in other words, projects are often broken up into other small projects into segments. And this is sort of what you're going to be seeing here uh, in the BTS vlogs. You'll see how this stuff is, uh, is actually blocked out. How the projects are blocked out. And um, done so that we're not wasting too much time in between projects. Or assigning a project that is too large. Uh, and will never get done. And that's that's one of the problems. If you assign a, yourself a project that is too large, too difficult for you to handle at one particular point in time, the chances are you will not finish that project. That you will shelve the project because you don't see a way around the, this large problem. Where if you break it up into smaller chunks that are easier to do, you know, look at the project. And say, okay, what components are these project are, are in these projects? And in many cases, you'll find that if you break your products down to components, you will find components in this product that are common to other projects. So that while you're not necessarily working on that one project specifically, you can deal with a chunk of the project that relates to all the projects that you're working on uh, simultaneously. In other words, you can do more than one thing at the same time just by working on that one single project. So that's kind of what you're going to be seeing in the next BTS vlog. We're going to see how we're now going to split things up into more projects. Uh, you're going to see these more projects come up uh, on a more regular basis. And you'll start seeing some of the pieces of the puzzle that I've sort of been working on for the last 20 years. Anyways, uh, that's it for today's BTS vlog. See you in a couple hours for uh, the next BTS vlog. All right. Take it easy. Goodbye.